Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing my entire Ninjago Mi collection on my Nintendo Switch. Now, for those that don't know, I play a lot of Nintendo Switch, and recently over on my streams, we've been playing all kinds of games, but we've also been making these Ninjago Mis, and we finally made 100 of them. Granted, four of the Ninjago Mis, quote unquote, are just characters that either represent myself or friends or whatever Manu is supposed to be. This is where the Ninjago collection starts here with Lloyd. So in today's video, I figured it could be a lot of fun to go through all of the Miis that we've made so far over on my live streams, talk about each one, maybe showcase them for a little bit, and uh, just show off the collection as it appears right here. Now for a couple of quick disclaimers, this is only the first wave of Miis that we've made here. Nintendo unfortunately only gives us about 100 Miis to make, so we've actually maxed out here. We've made 100 out of 100, and I'll be deleting some of these later on so we can make more on our streams, don't worry. But if your favorite Ninjago character is not part of this 100. I apologize. It's not like I forgot them or anything. We just did not have space for them. And also keep in mind, this is the Nintendo Me Maker. Some of these Mii's are going to look very rough, especially the ones that are not human. Those of you guys who watch my streams as well will know that we had a hard time making some characters on here. Some of them turned out better than others. So don't tell me that they look bad in the comments. I know they do. All right. You guys will probably still tell me anyway. Who am I kidding? So first we have Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd is pretty understandable and uh, pretty recognizable. Here's Oni Lloyd, uh, Lloyd's Oni form. Again, kind of a difficult one to make, but I think we pulled it off rather well. Uh, Harumi was one of the first ones that we made, and I really like how this one turned out. Uh, I love the red sunglasses. Again, we could not make the face mask, so the red glasses were good enough, I feel, and this one is probably one of my favorites, like I said. Here we have Kai going into the other ninja. Kai, he's Kai. We all recognize Kai. Jay, I tried to go for some type of fusion between his movie appearance and his traditional uh, seasons one through seven look. I think I got pretty close. Next up, we have Cole right here. I really like how Cole turned out. Uh, very straightforward, very standard. Zane here as well. Looks like Zane. Kind of boring in my opinion. Next up, we have Nia. You might not be able to tell, but she does have a ponytail. I can't rotate it right now, but you know, ponytail is a ponytail. Uh, Pixel also has the same ponytail hairstyle, and we tried our best to make Pixel look as robotic as possible. Again, this is the me maker. Very few options here. Master Wu, we could not include his hat, unfortunately. Um, I didn't think the beanie really worked for Master Wu, but I think he looks good regardless. We also have ourselves a younger Master Wu, trying to replicate his teenage appearance from Ninjago Season 9. I think that one looks pretty good. Uh, Lord Garmadon is one of our more recent ones. This is trying to recreate his form from the earlier Ninjago seasons. The sunglasses on the head are supposed to represent the bone. I'm sure you guys can figure that out. We made a couple different Garmadons. We also have the younger possessed Garmadon, you know, when his Great Devourer bite is at its peak. Uh, we also have our of Sensei Garmadon. We made a bunch of Garmadons. I don't know why I made so many Garmadons, but Sensei Garmadon is here. We also have Christophern. <laughs> Garmadon's uh, plant that he loves more than his son. This was a very popular request from stream, and he's just a little guy. He's he's Christopher, and what do you expect? Then we start getting into Elemental Masters. Skylar, I like how she turned out. Again, she does have a ponytail. You guys can't really tell right now, but she does have a ponytail. Karloff, Master of Metal, you know, he looks like Karloff, I suppose. Griffin Turner turned out really well. I love how this one looks. Uh, probably one of uh, probably one of the better elemental masters in my opinion. Mr. Pale also not too bad. You know the master of form. Camille pretty good. I like how she looks. Nero. A lot of people really liked Nero when we made him on stream. I agree. He's pretty cool. Uh, not exactly how he appears in the show, but close enough, I guess. Tox or Toxikita, master of poison. Pretty recognizable, I'd say. Ash, I think looks really good as well. Uh, pretty much encapsulates his personality from the show. Shade, master of shadow. We couldn't really give him gray skin, so we tried our best. Again, Me Maker has its limits. Keep that in mind. Jacob, master of sound. Yeah, it's pretty obvious who that's supposed to be. Bolobo looks creepy, but then again, Bolobo's a creepy guy breaking into Jay's room when he's bathing. That wasn't cool of you, Bolobo. Gravis, Master of Gravity, you know, not my favorite elemental master. And Moro, I'm sure everybody is going to be super excited to see this one. Uh, Moro, we made him look as depressed and as edgy as humanly possible. 
and I think that turned out rather well. Now we're moving on to parents. We have Ray, Kai and Nia's dad, and Maya, Kai and Nia's mother. Both of them look really good in my opinion. Next up we have Ed, <laughs> Jay's dad, and Edna, Jay's mom. They look great together, I'd say. The most wholesome couple ever. Uh, Lou, Cole's dad, and Lily, Cole's mom. Also, I think I really like how those two look. I, I think those two turned out real well. Misako, um, I'm not crazy about this one, to be honest with you. I feel like Coco from the Ninjago movie is a much better design, and I think the Mi is a lot better as well. So that's Misako and Coco. Uh, Dr. Julian, Zane's creator, if you will. Love how he turned out. Uh, Liber is Jay's birth mom. We only saw her for a handful of scenes back in season seven, and probably other seasons as well that I'm forgetting. But uh, yeah, she's here. She looks good. The original Master of Ice as well, I think, turned out really nice. Love how that guy looks. Uh, not really Zane's dad, but you know, the previous Master of Ice. Uh, moving on to Ninja Allies, we have Scott from Prime Empire pretty straightforward me. Uh, Nelson, the purple ninja, also pretty straightforward. Antonia looks good. I really like how Antonia turned out. I think we nailed that one. Uh, Benthamar. Everybody loves Benthamar, right? He looks pretty cool in my opinion. Definitely not too shabby. Uh, Queen Vanya, or Princess Vanya, or just Vanya, whatever you want to call her. I think she looks good. Uh, moving on down the line, we have Cyrus Borg. You know, everybody's favorite uh, smart dude in Ninjago, I suppose. <laughs> Sally from Ninjago Crystallized. She was also a really popular request for our live stream, so we made her as well. Faith from Ninjago Hunted, an ex-dragon hunter. I think she turned out real nice. Love how that one looks. Again, she's got the ponytail, the bun thing or whatever on the back of her head. Figured I should probably mention that. Akita! We tried our best with Akita. We tried to make the little uh, fox ear things on the top of her head using the sunglasses. You know, we do what we can with what we got. That's Akita. Uh, Blazy H, previously known as Racer7. Pretty straightforward one as well. Love how she turned out. Dareth, oh yeah, the brown ninja. He's here too. One of my least favorite characters, but everybody else loves him, so I figured we had to make him as well. Uh, Mustake, the Oni who helps out Lloyd and friends during the Oni trilogy. Pretty straightforward. That is her human form. Twitchy Tim. <laughs> Looks like Twitchy Tim. He's very scared and very timid. Very much Twitchy Tim. The mailman. This one might honestly be one of the best ones that we've made. I think he looks fantastic. Uh, very, very uh, representative of how he looks in the show. Ronin. We tried our best for Ronin. Unfortunately, there's not like a monocle piece, which would have made a lot of sense for this one and a couple of other Mies on our, in our collection as well. But unfortunately, we don't have a monocle. So Ronin just has to wear sunglasses. Gail Gossip. And uh, we have Vinny to go along with her. Vinny is very scared because Garmadon is his roommate. I would be scared as well, my friend. Next up, we have Clutch Powers. Um, I tried to do some type of unholy fusion between his Ninjago appearance and his original uh, Clutch Powers movie look. I think we got pretty close. Uh, the Police Commissioner. We didn't have enough spaces to write Police Commissioner, so he's just called Kamish. But you get the idea. The police commissioner with his insanely huge mustache. Uh, Fugidove, also one of my favorite ones. Uh, not a great character in my opinion, but the me turned out really well, I'd say. And finally, we have Hound Dog McBrog. Also a really good one. This one turned out real nice. And now we move on to villains. Now, keep in mind, like I said, like I said earlier in the video, some of these were hard to make. I'm specifically referring to the villains. Oh my goodness, some of these are rough. First things first, we have the Overlord. This is the Crystal King edition. I think he looks fine. He looks overlordy to an extent, I suppose. Uh, he and Oni Lloyd kind of have the same thing going on in terms of a design. Samakai, I think, actually looks pretty good. I don't mind how Samakai looks. Uh, Pythor, yeah, this is probably one of my least favorite ones. We tried our best with Pythor. Um... Not really sure what else we could have done. That's supposed to be his tongue right there, by the way. That's his tongue. Scales, as well, kind of falls in line with Pythor. Just another abomination of a me. Uh, Scales Jr., on the other hand, doesn't look too bad. Kind of helps that his character is mainly humanoid, especially in the head region. Uh, Bitar, one of the first ones that we made for the streams. Uh, might seem like a random one, but Bitar is kind of like the mascot of our streams at this point. So we had to make him. Uh, General Kozu from the Stone Army. 
Yeah, also kind of nightmare fuel. I apologize for this one. Cryptor also doesn't look too good. Again, the monocle here would have helped out quite a bit, but we don't have that, so we may do with what we had. Chen, fortunately, I love how Chen looks. Chen might be one of my favorite Mii's, uh, if not my absolute favorite Mii that I've made so far. I think Chen looks amazing. Really like how this one turned out. Klaus as well doesn't look too bad. Then again, Klaus was very simple to make, so Chen and Klaus look good. Nauticon here. Also doesn't look too shabby. <laughs> I think we nailed the eyebrows, that's for sure. Uh, we also have some other Sky Pirates. We have Flintlock. He looks fine. Uh, Clancy, another snake, which the snakes were always a pain to try to make. Dabloon, that's nightmare fuel if I've ever seen one. We tried our very best to make Dabloon, and this is what we came up with. I really do apologize for what you're looking at right now. This is your new sleep paralysis demon, ladies and gents. Uh, Master Yang! Looks pretty good, I'd say. Love me some Master Yang. In terms of the me form, the actual character kind of sucks. But the me doesn't look too bad. I think he looks good. The mechanic, yeah, kind of close. Again, the Monica would have worked out real well for this one, too. We also have the Time Twins. We have Crux right here. Love how the Time Twins turned out. We have Crux and Acronix. I think Acronix especially looks pretty good. And uh, we tried our best uh, using what we could. You know, I think they turned out real well. Uh, moving on to the Sons of Garmadon, we have Ultraviolet. I think she looks good. Uh, following that, we have Mr. E, who I think also doesn't look too bad. Love how you can see his little eyes peering through there, his beady little eyes. Uh, Kilo, also from the Sons of Garmadon. You know, it is what it is. Moving on, we have the Iron Baron. Unfortunately, the Mii Maker does not have top hats, which kind of sucks. This would have been the perfect opportunity to include a top hat. The Omega! Yeah, this one's kind of rough too, but you know, again, we're doing what we can with what we got. Esfira, this is probably our best looking serpentine person, I'd say. I actually kind of like how this one turned out. Uh, pretty much a recipe for disaster, but I think she turned out a lot better than somebody like Pythor or even Scales. Esfira doesn't look too shabby. Uh, the Ice Emperor, Zane as the Ice Emperor, looks pretty good. We also have General Vex as well. Uh, I think these two look pretty good. They also look good next to each other, I'd say. And then we have Unaga. I opted to go for the small uh, purified Unagami that we saw in Prime Empire, so that's Unagami for you. He's very small, very short, and rather cute, I'd say. Uh, Vangelis also looks pretty good. I think he looks great, actually. Uh, we did not go for the Skull Sorcerer of Vangelis. Chief Mamatis from the island looks horrifying in all the wrong ways. Not super proud of that one, if I'm being honest with you. We also got Misdemeanor. <laughs> you know, the, the fire lady from Seabound and Crystallized. I'm sure you guys know Misdemeanor. Kalmar is another one that I had a hard time making. Can you guys tell I had a hard time making Kalmar? I don't think it's as bad as something like Pythor, but it's certainly not good. You know, but there's Kalmar. Uh, Reflectra, if you guys don't know who Reflectra is, she was from the Ninjago Legacy Reimagined shorts. So check out those if you want to see more of Reflectra. She looks good. I like how she turned out. Uh, Snake Jaguar, Zane in his Sons of Garmadon disguise. We tried our best to utilize the mustache and the beard pieces trying to make a ninja mask. So that's how that one turned out. Uh, the Great Devourer. Now for the Great Devourer, I considered making an, another abomination, just like Scales and Pythor and all of them, but I decided to go for a humanoid Great Devourer, because she's essentially just a large animal, so instead of trying to make an animal, I decided to make a person. So that's the Great Devourer if she were human. We also did the same thing for Wajira as well. I think both of them look really good. I especially like the Great Devourer. And finally, for the final me that we made in this selection, in this showcase, we have Tommy Andreasen, the man himself. Uh, also, technically a Ninjago character. He did appear in Ninjago Crystallized, and he is obviously the co-creator of Ninjago, one of the most important figures in Ninjago's production, so I figured it was only right to make him as the final me. And with that being said, that'll just about do it for our me showcase. Uh, some of these are pretty rough. Again, sometimes you get a Kalmar or a Pythor, but sometimes you also get like a Hound Dog McBrog or a Harumi. I think some of these look good, some of them definitely do not, but we tried our best here, and for a first showcase for these Ninjago Mii's, I don't think this was a 
bad effort, not at all. I'd say my favorites are probably Harumi. Uh, I really like the Chen that we made as well. Chen looks really, really good. Whereas Sam, there, there he is. I, I love the Chen. I think Chen looks pretty good as well. Um, a couple of other ones are pretty solid as well. But with that being said, guys, that'll just about wrap it up for today's me showcase. Like I said, we will be wiping the slate clean and doing another 100. Um, probably going to be starting on that next week on stream. So if you want to take part in that, feel free to swing on by. Uh, we stream Monday to Friday, six to seven central. Uh, feel free to swing on by if you so desire. Chances are we'll be making me's at multiple points next week. You guys are always welcome. And feel free to let me know in the comments which me you think is the best. Which one do you think turned out the best? And if you want to drop which ones you absolutely hate, feel free to do that as well because I certainly hate some of them myself. So I do not feel bad if you guys hate some of these. I understand your pain. And I'm sorry that you guys had to look at some of these. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a comment, uh, hit subscribe, leave a like, all of that good stuff. And we will talk to you guys again on the channel very soon for another video. Until next time, have a good one. We'll talk to you guys again real soon. Peace.